I spent my young life perpetually pessimistic. I knew at a fairly early age that I could not expect anything to be as good as it seemed, so naturally I assumed things would only get worse as time went on. When I was 14, my father pressured me to apply to boarding school, to continue the lineage of Bradford men who had attended the Lawrenceville School. I got here not knowing anyone. Now I spend my time with a curious collection of characters. Not that I went looking for them, we just kind of accumulated each other. First, there was Winnie, named after her sole purpose, to win. Her parents bred her to achieve what they could not achieve themselves. She was president of 26 clubs and an athletic powerhouse, incredibly useful in small doses. Next, there was Rob Stash. Freshman year, he was just a well-to-do kid from Connecticut, but he took a summer abroad and came back changed. Now he had an ambiguous tattoo on his arm, barely there mustache, and a few interesting hats. Then there was Smelly Mike. He was meek, lame, and had a stench that could gag a toad at forty feet. <coughs> Tiffany was uh, pretty. Next, there was the theater fanatic of the group, named Bog, since she described her sexuality as swamp-like and undefined. She went through dramatized mood swings and often was annoying. Then there was me, Charles Bradford. We weren't really friends, the only thing we had in common was we were all stuck at the same school, killing time. <laughs> What are you doing? What? What are you doing? What do you mean? I mean, we graduate in one month. What are you doing? Is this a trick question? It's Saturday. There's a lacrosse game going on. When was the last time you went to a lacrosse game? No. No? No. Okay. So, Mike, did you do anything today that you didn't do yesterday? I showered. Really? No. Guys, what is this? We graduate in four weeks and we don't do anything. We do the same thing every day. To be confined to the iron prison within these gates, it's not just stifling to our physical bodies, but to our spiritual essence. Yeah, whatever, Bog. We just have to wait this out to graduation. You see these? What are these? Old yearbooks. Okay, has anyone ever looked through them? No. Why would we? Because in the old days, the students tried to like do things, try to make things happen. Bug, we're in purgatory. You don't try to make purgatory fun. Yeah, but when your dad went here, he did things. He had stories. He made memories. We made memories. Like what? Oh, yeah, like the time that Tiffany got threatened by her own reflection and we had to pull her away before she tried to trick it into being anorexic. Or the time that uh, Smelly Mike killed a frog because he smelled so bad. Wasn't that a toad? Is this all we're going to remember for in the past four years? Seriously? <clears throat> all right, so what do you suggest? Well, I was thinking we uh, could... Wait, 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 no, no, I, I withdraw that question. Okay, we need like a bucket list, okay? Like a few things you have to do before I graduate. What? Like stuff we always dreamed of doing, but we never did. You know, to make things memorable, to make our time worthwhile. Yeah, too late for that. Never too late. You know, they say that you regret what you don't do, not what you do do. Do do. Shut up. Any ideas? We could climb to the roof of a building. We could perform a fertility ritual in the basement of Men Hall. How about the longest tin can string phone ever? Tin... Tin can... The dumbest person I've ever known. You know what I want to see? You exercising. Put that one in. Okay, yeah. The first thing on the list was to eat 100 slices of pizza at TJ's. Record-breaking food consumption is a tradition at Lawrenceville, and this was our contribution. Safe to say, this was not pleasant for anyone involved. Then we had Smelly Mike run a mile. Unfortunately, he had eaten the bulk of the pizza. Tiffany had never been allowed to eat peanut butter and decided to add that to her bucket list. Tiffany was allergic to peanut butter. Shit. We decided to mourn her death with her favorite song on the chapel organ. We decided to cut to the chase and get to our biggest goal on the list, a senior prank. They were banned at the school, but we needed to leave our mark before we left.
worked together feverishly, like clockwork. Everything was going smoothly until... Who did this? I say we run away. Somehow we got away scot-free. We forgot about the prank. We were a team. But then, we got caught. Rob Stash had left his hat on the statue, linking us to the crime. We all got major school violations. If we continued our bucket list, we would be expelled. Our days of adventure were over. Well, my parents are gonna kill me. Yeah, the bucket list thing was dumb. Charlie was right. <laughs> we'll just kill time now. What's that? It's my dad's yearbook. No way, let's see. Oh my god, you look just like him. Wasn't that the year they did the prank with the farm animals and the headmaster? I, I don't really remember what it was, but they got in trouble and the whole senior prank tradition got shut down. Aw, oh, it sucks. Yeah, I know, but my dad loved Lawrenceville anyway. He, he still knows a lot of these guys. They, they, they're still friends. Really? Do they still do crazy things? Not really, they just kind of get together and do the same kind of thing, just to, you know, be around each other. Yeah, but that sounds nice. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It is. <laughs>